He is one of the most active and brave witness of the past. As a Holocaust survivor, he openly says in international media that there were no Polish death camps. Ladies and gentlemen, our today's guest, Edward Masberg. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. But before we start the interview, let's see some shots of his actions. Mr. Mossberg, you came here to Warsaw for the event of the Righteous Among the Nation, people who saved Jews during the war. And why did you come here? Why do you come back, back again to Poland to remind about those stories? This is my duty and obligation. You see, there are a lot of people, they survive, and a lot of them, they cannot talk about it. Like my wife, she survived several dead marches. She went in so many camps and she cannot talk about it. So I have to do it. And there are other people they can't talk about it. So this is like my obligation to go and talk, to teach the people what happened during the Holocaust. And every year, you also take part in the March of Living. You do it every year. Why are you doing it as well? And but why this, is it important? But the same thing, that I can talk to the children, to grow up, what happened. I go to any groups. It could be a small group of two, three or five people. And I talk to a large group like March of the Living. There are 15,000 and I speak to them. Okay, I go and like in the United States, the recruits from police, different department. And I go there and talk to them and teach them what happened to the Holocaust. Because some of them, they didn't know, and they didn't hear even about it. You are Polish Jew, but you never gave up on your Polishness in a way that you're coming back, back to Poland. But there are so many Jews who never wanted to come back to Poland here. And they associate Poland only with, with death camps or with a dead soil. What message would you have also to, to such kind of people, which see Poland only as a death, death place? Well, I tell you, like you said, that other Jews don't want to come down. This is their problems. Because I come down here to Poland, and I consider this to be, as a Jew, a free place in the beginning of the years, I brought with me a religious man, a rabbi, with a beard, with a black hat. And I asked him, if you walk around the city, Krakow, how you feel? Very safe. No one bothers him, no one say one word to him. I talked to the children from the March of Living, to the Israeli soldiers. I ask him, how you feel? Very safe, okay? And what will happen? Would you go to France or to Germany? Each one say no, because they could be beaten or even killed there. So the Poland is very, very safe as far I'm concerned. I never experienced an anti-Semitism in Poland. That's an extremely important statement which you're just giving right now because Poland faces more and more of accusation of anti-Semitism on different levels, which some of them might be just, but a lot of them are unjust and uh, are elements of prejudice. The anti-Semitism in Poland is created by the Jews themselves. Why? Why? Because they have a man who is a... Uh, his name is Israel Katz. I don't know if you ever heard the name. Yes. He made a statement 
that had a Christian mother, when she feed the baby with her milk from the breast, she's feeding him with the anti-Semitism. I consider this as a very stupid thing. I even say that I'm going to nominate him for a Nobel Prize for stupidity. I refused to go to Israel. I said I would till that man or the government don't remove him. I will never go to Israel because that thing is an insult not just to Poland. That is an insult to all Christianity around the whole world because this was not just to Poland. So I consider this insult to all Christianity around the whole world. Thank you for saying those words. Well, this is the truth. I'm not just telling because for you, I tell this everything is for me because I feel that way. And those were words of Edward Mossberg, the survivor of Holocaust. And thank you for watching Poland Daily Culture.